This is Be Kinda Men, and it is an official 501c3 nonprofit organization. We're here striving to save the bees through hands on activities, education, and habitat revival. Be Kinda Men is going into its second year of being in existence, helping to save native bees around the US and beyond. We are on the green roof of Target Center in downtown Minneapolis. So the green roof here at Target Center has a large variety of different native plants, and it is actually the first green roof to be placed on an arena in North America. And this is a very special location to our organization because we provided two bee houses, which currently sit up here, and they've actually been the first bee houses of their kind to be placed on an arena rooftop in our nation. They're each made of a cinder block so that they don't go blowing off the roof, and they're filled with bamboo like these are to provide the tunnel nesting bees a place to live. And as far as that goes, they're placed on different halves of the building so that they can be sure to accommodate as many pollinators as possible. It's currently around early June, and we are up here looking at all of the great flowers that are in bloom. I also saw a bumblebee just earlier, along with some other solitary bees, honeybees, grasshoppers, and a bunch of different kinds of insects and pollinators. In a house like this, or any of these others, they work the same way. A bee, after pollinating, will enter one of these holes, and they'll go in and lay a little piece, they'll put down a piece of what we like to call bee bread. It's pollen and nectar put together into a little pack that's a nutrient provision for the new bee. And then on top of that bee bread, they lay their bee egg, and then they'll put up a divider. So they'll do that repeatedly throughout the tunnel before sealing the end off, and after their four to six week lifespan as an adult solitary bee, they will go to die off. And then the bees left in these as eggs will metamorphosize, and then most of them will emerge the following spring. In Minnesota, we have around 400 different kinds of bees, and the variety of hole sizes that you'll see across all three of these varieties of bee houses actually can accommodate most of that population, with the exception of the around 20 bumblebee species, because they use a separate kind of habitat. We encourage the public, and that's where the majority of the bee houses are built, to build their own and get involved in the act to save the bees. So we don't sell bee houses, we're just here to make the instructions available and make sure that it's accessible to as many people as possible.